What's going on everybody? Drew here. Welcome back to another video and today we're going to talk about what I think is the best value Procreate lettering brush pack, which I'm a little biased. It's made from a good friend of mine, Georgie. I, I, we, I just uh, go check the other video because right now, right now, I, I don't know when you're watching this video, but at the current moment that I'm filming this video, we're doing a giveaway. So if you follow me on Instagram and you follow Guy Roy, at Guy Roy, Georgie, on Instagram, you will be entered to win this Procreate brush pack along with my 30 high resolution texture bundle pack thing. So, but let's take a look at some of Georgie's brushes. There's eight of them in this one pack and I wanna explain to you why I think it is a great all around value Procreate lettering brush pack. And a lot of times I use it for illustration. I don't even use it for all of lettering. So anyway, let's check it out. We'll look at some of the work. You can see here Georgie's brush set. The first one is the wet paint brush. Um, and it's just like super pleasing to uh, like either paint and fill in stuff or do a little light lettering with it. Uh, I really love the letter L. It's just really super pleasant. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the wet ink brush, which is also really, really cool. It's a little too thin, so we can bump it up here on the right. Um, so yeah, like this is just a crazy texture like look at that like i don't i don't know what he did to make these it's like pressure sensitive as well so if we draw thin and then we press in hard you know it gets fatter and stuff like that um so i mean he's really taking the time to create a pretty dope brush with this this is a great brush let's move on to the grunge brush one of my personal favorites i use this one a lot for like texture so you can see really thin in here. It's it's super grungy and it's like, I, I don't know, how, again, I don't know how he did it. You'd have to ask him. Um, but it's just really good for getting in and filling different things. Again, pressure sensitive. So if I'm light and then I press down in on it, it gets fatter. Um, but you can see how like you could just lower the opacity on this a little bit and start just like gliding over stuff to give it that cool little texture. Um, so let's move on to the wet fill. This is another really cool brush. Um, and it kind of gives it that watercolory effect. You can see the little kind of wobbles like right here. You know, it gives it that little wobbly uh, watercolor effect. With watercolor, a lot of times it bleeds. What's, what's uh, nice about this, you know, or I guess if, if you think it's nice or not nice, is that if you select different colors and you start overlapping it, it doesn't really bleed together. They just kind of overlap on top of each other. Um, I mean, if you wanted them to overlap, then you could just use a different brush, but you can see here, it's, a, it's like you can just keep overlapping each other. So moving on to the uh, rough mix brush, this is another like really cool texture type brush. And again, all of these are pressure sensitive. So if I dig in and then get thinner, it'll get thinner and then dig in. So yeah, this is another really cool looking brush. Again, if I do my little L there, I really like the letter L. I don't know why it's just fun to it's just fun to do like look at that guys like it's just it's fun to do <laughs> i don't know how else to say it what's another fun letter uh anyway it's another really great brush that i think is like great for like abstract art or lettering so you could go you could go either way with it you could get really it's great on top of photos too so if you dropped a photo in here and then you started lettering on it um you know with like a dark navy blue or something like that it would really it would really work well with like the vibe you know maybe like an adventure rugged type vibe you know what i mean uh so we'll move on to the next brush this brush is amazing like it's definitely one of my all-time favorite brushes in the pack um and like you can just see this smooth like great looking texture now this one does overlap you can see the stroke here is overlapping here up and down um i've realized that you can't see my hands so like right here and here you can see that there's some overlap this way and down this way um so you can always clean that up with something else if you wanted to but i like the texture i like the overlap texture like that um it's really really cool my cat is over here and she would like to say hello yep back to what i was doing um so anyway yeah this is an amazing brush it's just super fun to play with okay all right get out of here you crazy so moving on 
to the pencil brush my all-time favorite i know i said the last one was my all-time favorite but this one just like oh my gosh it's just like so good i don't i really don't know what he did to make this pencil so pencil like if even if i keep going down like it gets so thin so just it's like better than the technical pencil that comes in procreate with itself like if i go back to the gallery it's like this was drawn with the print with the pencil brush like in georgie's georgie's pencil brush and then this right here was was done the thorn in the flesh part was done with another buddy's brush cj like the pencil brush is just so good and then if you get fatter with it it stays at a nice like even thickness the whole time i mean you can see here at the beginning it starts a little bit less and then it tra tapers off a little bit but you could edit that if you wanted to but it's just nice and thick the whole way through now paint splatter fantastic Let's get it down so little effects just here and there in different parts of the the piece or if you get real small with it you know you can add little splatters here around get even smaller with it you can do little trails of splatter it's very cool especially when you start adding different colors very cool i i dig this brush like i've used the splatter in a couple different things and it's super super fun so there you go now you've seen all eight of the brushes in this pack and why i think it's so valuable uh right now you can get it over on his site and i'll link i'll link the direct link right to the brushes if you want them um and maybe i'll even talk to him and see if we can get a little discount code going on um if you're not part of the giveaway but again go do the giveaway first if you're watching this before february 1st of 2021 if you're watching it after it uh beyond look up for a possible discount code um right now you can get it on his pay hit for about 12 dollars uh it's again i think honestly what i think makes this pack so worth it is that pencil brush man it's so good i don't know what he did or how he did it i've looked at it i've i've diagnosticed it i've turned the streamline up and down um everybody likes to throw a monoline brush in there no he went the extra mile did a textured pencil brush that i think is really great beautiful it's a it's a wonderful mix so anyway i'll link that all down for you to know in the description for you to go and grab the brushes if you do let me know let him know follow him on instagram he's amazing i promise you will get value from this pack my outros the last couple of videos have been going long because i don't script them because i don't know i'm, I'm just talking to you you're a person you know I, i'm not writing you a letter you know if you made it this far in the video that's really cool i'm just talking to you <clears throat> subscribe for more of that i'm not being weird right now and i will see you in the next video not weirdly but 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 bye